Well, we're here at uh, one of the remarkable wings of the Mayo Clinic. We're so proud, of course, that that name is associated with us in the Valley of the Sun. If I wasn't here, I might be on the golf course. Uh, but in fact, other golfers would probably complain about that. Uh, there are a number of golfers, however, professional and amateur, who say, I'm never going to play this game again because of a condition called the yips. Correct. Define that and then tell us why it is that it affects so many people in sports. So the yips is a colloquial term that just refers to an individual who has a jerk or twitch or involuntary movement when they are usually putting, but also chipping, and some golfers will complain of it with a full swing. Why do so many people have it is completely unclear. Part of the reason we're doing research here is to try to determine what might cause it. You're doing yip research at the Mayo Clinic. We are. Is it because it's that serious a problem? So the yips is, is something from our standpoint that could be neurologic as well as psychologic. As a neurologist that studies individuals who have tremors or writer's cramp or musician's cramp, the yips in some people we believe is a golfer's cramp. So an involuntary movement that is not caused by stress, anxiety, or some sort of um, activity other than a neurologic uh, cause. So that when people have writer's cramp, their fingers may clench, their wrist may move in. Same thing we believe happens in a minority of people with the yips. So this is not everybody who has the yips as a neurologic disorder, but we believe there are a number of people who do, and that might require different interventions, different treatments and different diagnosis, diagnostic tests. I feel good about asking you the question, Dr. Charles Adler, because as a neurologist at Mayo's, uh, you, uh, you do so much research in so many areas the general public may not necessarily know about, but the general public with the yips watching right now, all they want to know is, can they do anything about it? Do they have to come to Mayo's in order to take care of it? So I think the individuals who have more of a psychological cause, they usually see their golf pro, they see a sports psychologist, or uh, try to find methods like that. It's the people with a neurologic cause are not going to improve just by trying to think this away or train it away. This is something that may require either medication, might require some other treatments, and that's what we're working on, trying to determine what would be the best treatment for them. All sports? So I've only studied golfers. It's, it's enough to try to study people who are just moving their hands back and forth. We believe that there are individuals who are throwing a ball, so baseball, basketball. Uh, there are reports of individuals throwing darts that develop an involuntary movement of the wrist or the fingers. I thought so, that was just beer no. uh, in the Irish bars and the dart boards. They call it dartitis if you look that up online, but it appears that they will actually develop a neurologic disorder, much again like writer's cramp and musician's cramp. We've all heard of those disorders. But discussing it as golfer's cramp, I think, is a really important issue. What's the first step that, in this case, a golfer uh, should take in order to get past the yips? So I think the first step, and this can be for any golfer with the yips, is to change their grip. So you see a lot of golfers who may or may not have the yips change to a claw grip and change how their hand is holding the putter. Uh, you can use different size putters, you can use different size grips. So that would often be the first treatment, much like somebody with writer's cramp. So writer's cramp, I'll give people a big, wide, thick pen to try to see if that can be of benefit. There are thousands of people right now who are saying, boy, am I glad I watched the Arizona Daily Mix, because after all, hey, the information came from the Mayo Clinic. Thank you, doctor. Watch out for those yips.